hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial in this video i'm going to show you one of the method which you can use to make your drawing very fast and easy whenever you are drawing a building plan in autocad precisely i will be showing you one of the easiest and fastest pattern of drawing a roof plan in autocad and also how you can draw the north elevation south elevation west and east elevation of a building in autocad however this is only applicable to a hip roof or a sloping roof now before i get started with this tutorial i'd like to appreciate all my viewers for their support and in case you're just joining for the first time please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get a notification on my latest videos and with that being said let's get started with this tutorial so as you can see on my screen i have a floor plan which i made in one of my tutorial and of course this is a four bedroom floor plan and with this plan, I'm going to use it to demonstrate how you can be able to draw a roof plan easily in AutoCAD. So to get started with showing you how to draw a roof plan easily in AutoCAD, we're going to trace the layout of this very particular floor plan. So the same thing applicable with your own floor plan. You have to trace the layout of the floor plan. That could be the first floor plan or the ground floor plan. So before I trace the layout of this ground floor plan, I'm going to turn off the layers that has this column placed in it so that I can be able to draw or I can be able to trace the layout of this very particular floor plan. So I go over to the layers tab and I turn off layers 5. And then we can now be able to trace the layout of this very particular floor plan. So to trace the layout, I will select the polyline command and I will start tracing from this edge just like this. And when you're done tracing, you press the enter key on the keyboard and now we have the layout of this very particular floor plan traced. Now the next thing is to offset the layout of this floor plan to get the apes and the apes here provide the covering for the roof. So we type O for offset command and we press enter. And I'll enter an offset distance of 500 millimeters for the apes. So we press enter and we offset outside to get the apes of this very particular roof. And then before I proceed, I'll go back to layers and turn on the layers that has the columns so that we can have the columns back into the drawing just like this. Now the next thing is to select the layout of this uh, floor plan which has been offset and we copy it to a different destination so we specify this point and we copy to this very particular point and we press enter key. You can then pan to see the layout of the roof plan just like this. Now when you have this layout you must be imagining how your roof plan is going to look like so with the help of the offset command or the offset tool we can be able to solve that very easy so we type o for offset command again and we press enter and we can specify the distance of true so we don't have any specific distance and then we select this layout and we offset towards the center of the layout repeatedly or multiple times until we get a relatively small rectangle just like this then we press enter now the next thing is to draw a line connecting the edges of this very particular layout which we have set. So for that we can switch to a different layer and then we select the line command and then we draw a line starting from this edge connecting all the points just this way. Now when you're done drawing the lines connecting the edge, the next thing is to use the fillet command to be able to join the lines which are adjacent or that are going to meet at a particular point. So we type F for fillet command 
and then we type R for the radius and make sure the radius is set to zero and we press enter then type M for multiple we can then select these lines and these lines that are adjacent and we fillet them to join up like this again we select these other two lines here that are adjacent and fillet again we repeat the same thing for this and we have them fillet up like this then we press enter key next thing is type L for line command and then we draw a line vertically upward this way and we repeat the same command and we draw another line vertically downward this way and then we draw one line horizontally from the point where these two lines meet towards this direction and we press the enter key and after that we're still going to use the fillet command so type f for fillet and then we type m for multiple we can then also select this line and this line and fillet we again select this line and this line and have it fillet just like this again we select this line here and copy so the same way of drawing a line through the edges of the layout is applicable here we copy this line from this very particular base point and to where we have these two lines meeting so you can see that we have this line also going through the edges of this uh, layout which we offset it and then next thing we have to copy this line as well and we repeat the copy command we copy from this base point and we place it here and if you zoom you can see that this line is also connecting the edges of the layout which we offset and when you're done with this we use the fillet command again and we type m for multiple and we can then join these lines or fillet them together just like this and that gives us the layout of this very particular roof plan so after that we can delete the layout which we have set earlier so we select this and also delete so now this is the layout of the roof plan the next thing we have to do is to create a boundary where we can apply hatch so to do that we go to the draw tab and where we have the hatch icon we click on this little arrow below and select boundary then we make sure that these uh, various options are checked and we click on OK and we can specify each of these faces where these lines are meeting to create a boundary so we select this point and that gives us a face and we repeat the same thing for all other faces of the roof and when we're done with that we then press enter key and then this gives us the various faces of this very particular roof plan so if I select you can see that we have faces of the roof created just this way then we can press escape key to deselect the next thing we have to do is to offset so that we can then create a hatch pattern for the roof so to do that we press the offset command or we type over offset command and we press enter and then I will specify offset distance of 150 and press enter we can then select each of these face and offset inside to get the boundary where we can apply the hatch just like this and we have the boundary already created just like this the next thing again we have to go over to the draw tab and again we select the hatch command this time around so we select hatch and from the pattern we're going to specify or I'm going to go with any pattern of my choice you can also pick a pattern of your choice so I'm going to select say this very particular pattern and I will set the scale to 2 and then I'll press enter and I can click where I have these boundaries to create the hatch pattern just like this and when we're done with that we then press enter key and we have the roof of this very particular floor plan created just this way the next thing or the next pattern I'm going to show you is how you can get the elevation, the north elevation, south elevation, west elevation, and east elevation. And in this video, I'm going to show you also how you can easily get the elevation of a roof plan. So using this very particular roof plan which we made, we're going to copy the roof plan. So select the entire roof plan and select the copy command specify a base point and we can copy to this very particular destination we press the enter and then we select the hatch which we created earlier and delete it 
so we have the roof layout just like this now to get to start with the north elevation using this view cube as our reference we create the south or the north elevation first so we select the line command and we draw a horizontal line just like this and we press enter then we go back to the roof and we select this face and we select also the copy command and we specify this point as our base point and we can copy directly downward to the line which we created earlier and again we repeat the same thing we select this face and we repeat copy command and we also specify this outer edge as the base point and we copy directly downward and we have this now repeat offset command and make sure the offset here is 150 press enter and we are going to offset outside just like this and we are done with that we press enter we can then delete the line which we created earlier and this gives us the not elevation of this very particular roof plan so this is the not elevation we can then repeat the same thing for the west elevation so using this view cube as well we are looking towards this direction of the roof to get the west elevation of the roof so we select the line command and we draw a straight line horizontal i mean vertically like this and we can select this face of the roof and we repeat the copy command specify this outer edge of the roof as the base point and we copy directly horizontal to this um, line which we created and we repeat the same thing for this face we specify the face and we enter copy command specify this base point as the point where you copy and we copy directly to this line so we have this okay let's repeat the copy command so copy specify this base point and copy directly down to this point and again repeat the copy command and we copy from this edge directly down to this line and after that we use the offset command so type o for offset press enter and the offset distance is 150 we can offset outside just like this and we have the west elevation of this very particular roof we can then lift the line which we created earlier and then the next is the south elevation so we select the line command again and we draw a horizontal line this way and we go back to the roof plan we select this face and select the copy command we specify this base point as the point where we copy the face of the roof and we copy to this very particular line and again we select this face of the roof and we also repeat copy specify this base point and we copy directly to this line and we press enter now we use the offset and offset distance of 150 we offset outside to get the face of this roof and we can have this line deleted and this gives us the not sorry the south elevation of this very particular roof so this is how you can be able to draw a roof plan in AutoCAD and how you can also get the various elevation of the roof in AutoCAD.